hablar con eh, Kevin Ferrick del American Petroleum Institute eh, sobre eh, las precauciones que han de tener eh, los consumidores a la hora de cambiar el aceite y unos eh, resultados realmente alarmantes sobre un estudio que realizó el American Petroleum Institute. So Kevin, thank you very much. Uh, Kevin Ferrick from the American uh, Petroleum Institute. Um, so pretty disturbing news, huh? Like one of every five samples of uh, fresh oil is not what it's supposed to be. Is that pretty much the, the result of the study? Yeah, that's pretty much what we've found. Um, API uh, tests engine oils uh, annually as part of our as part of our uh, audit program that we run. Uh, as part of our the licensing program that API has run for years. And we found that uh, over the last five years, about one in five of the oils that we've tested coming from bulk tanks, so places like uh, oil change locations, car dealerships, uh, locations like that, um, those oils were failing. They weren't meeting API standards. And, uh, I mean, that's pretty serious uh, news because, I mean, the oil is so, I mean, the, the first recommendation for everybody to maintain the car properly is, like, change the oil. And if you put in something that is not good enough, I mean, uh, that's that's pretty bad, right? What can consumers do uh, about yeah, it? That's a very bad thing. Um, uh, oil, automakers are very explicit about how often oils are supposed to be changed, and they're very – they tell you in your owner's manual you're supposed to use uh, certain oils meeting certain standards, um, generally meeting an API standard. So if you go into an oil change place, you expect you're going to get an oil that meets the recommendations for the automaker or the truck manufacturer. When you don't get that, um, there are potential consequences. You could be affecting the performance of the engine. Uh, you could be hurting its uh, the life of the engine, so the engine may not um, run as well or as long as you would like it to run. Um, and then if the vehicle is under warranty, you could even be impacting warranty requirements because the automakers say uh, to keep your warranty in effect, uh, they, they want you to follow their recommendations. Uh, if you use a, a low-quality oil, you may actually uh, adversely affect the uh, warranty for that engine. Okay, so what's the advice for consumers and uh, our audience here in our show, but uh, everybody else uh, around uh, the country who are uh, doing, thinking that they're doing the right thing and not really doing it? What, what's, what's the advice? Well, the advice is, is actually fairly simple. Um, we actually make some of this available um, on, a, on a checklist that you can download from our uh, Motor Oil Matters website. Uh, but th it's very simple. Uh, check your owner's manual uh, before you go to get an oil change so that you understand what oil is recommended for your car or truck. Um, when you go to that location, uh, it's a very simple thing to ask, what exactly, what oil exactly are you getting, are you going to install in my vehicle? And then the last piece of advice we always give is that make sure you get it in writing. Um, when the receipt, the receipt shouldn't just say, That, an oil, that the oil installed was uh, a 5W30 bulk oil. You want to have specific information, the viscosity grade. So if 5W30 is what's recommended for your vehicle, you want that written down. You also want to have them write down the brand that they installed. And then the last piece is whatever performance level it met. So if it's an API standard, they need to put down in writing on the invoice of the receipt exactly what, Uh, performance level of oil was just installed. If you have that information, that's the kind of information that a consumer should should have and should keep. Um, and then in case there's some question about uh, about uh, the oil that might have been installed, at least they have some documentation, some proof that they had an oil installed that should have met the recommendations for their car or truck. Yeah, okay. And, uh, like, it's not very, very smart to try to save a couple bucks here and there. Uh, when you're uh, dealing with your car, right? So, like, uh, maybe if you pay just a little bit more, I mean, it's better for the long run. Uh, when, when we think about cost, uh, I'm, I'm a big fan of, of getting a, a, a good value. Um, so sometimes there are oil change, you know, an oil change location will offer a coupon or a special deal, and we think that that's great. Um, we think people should take advantage of those, but they want to be sure that when whatever oil they're getting, they're getting exactly the oil recommended for their car or truck. Um, a good example is if a, if an in, if a uh, coupon says that they get five quarts conventional oil, that's not really enough information. The consumer needs to say, what oil exactly am I getting 
with this coupon. Excellent. Um, now it could be a good if it's a good deal, great. We think that's a we think that's a wonderful opportunity for people, particularly when in in at times when the economy isn't great. Um, so it, it, getting a value is always a great thing, but you want to make sure you know whether that oil really is the value you think it is. Excellent. Kevin Farrick from the American Petroleum Institute, thank you very much for your time. And uh, can you repeat the website where people can find more information about this? Yes, go to www.motoroilmatters.org. Excellent. Thank you very much, Kevin, for your time and information. Thank you very much. Bye. Pues ahí tienen información muy, muy importante acerca de las precauciones que hay que tener a la hora de ir a cambiar el aceite del vehículo. Hay que tener que esté todo documentado, como decía Kevin ahí en la entrevista, para que si viene un problema después tengan con qué responderles. Esto es Auto 060 y no se vayan que cuando regresemos vamos a hablar de lo que va a pasar con los autos chinos en el futuro. Ya regresamos, esto es Auto 060, yo soy Javier Mota.